Have you wondered what is the best way to graze or what method of grazing is the best? We want to follow nature because nature bats last. So we need to observe nature, but not nature as affected by men. An original ecosystem was before modern man came into the picture. And that was over maybe 20,000 years ago. When we had mastodons, mammoths, uh, woolly rhino, uh, wild horses, and many others, uh, this myriad of species, and those that I mentioned, were hind god fermenters, so they could digest the leftovers that were left by the ruminants. Horses and donkeys, as you can observe, can maintain a better body condition on high fiber, low protein grasses than cattle, because cattle are ruminants, and a ruminant requires a minimum of 7 to 8 percent protein in the whole diet for the rumen microorganisms to be able to digest the fiber. Okay, so before modern men, we had all these species and they could migrate and they were under the predator effect. The larger mammals didn't fall prey to the larger predators that were in existence. But when modern men came into the picture, they hunted them into extinction because they were not aware of predators. They didn't know. So they were easy to lure into traps and be killed. And they were killed and extinguished. So what happened after they were not in the picture? Well, the ruminants kept doing their job, grazing the best parts and leaving the rest behind. And that created problems because green leaves don't come up after uh, a selective graze as well as when you take it all off because of an hormone called auxin and the, and the very tall leftover or residual will change the growing points and new seedlings so they don't develop. So modern men started burning the pastures. Also the, the trees started to encroach on the savannas before the elephant-like mammoths and mastodons will break trees down to reach the fruit or the leaves and now they were not in the picture. So trees started to come in. How do we know this? In places like Florida, by taking or analyzing fossilized pollen, we know that the main trees before were magnolia. But when people, the, the settlers, started burning for, to have more pine trees, magnolia disappeared. And we know that it was a savanna, and now it's a solid forest. So, okay, back to the mastodons and mammoths. They kept the savanna open and they achieved a total grazing, a high harvest efficiency harvest. And that is how nature functions. So when modern men started burning to draw in the ruminants, the large herds of ruminants, so they could graze the tender growth, that started to deteriorate the land. So when the settlers came in, they found that and then they made the, their assumptions. But we need to go back and make our new assumptions. And this ties in with the new discoveries in science, like how humus is formed. Humus is formed by the root exudates from the plant into the rhizosphere around the roots that feeds the microorganisms, which then th themselves become humus. Now, to create more humus, we need a good leaf-to-stem ratio, and that's what our ruminants require. So, summing it all up, we need to emulate nature, we need to follow it. So, we want our animals, one or two species, cows and sheep or goats, to cap, lamp or kid when there is abundance of green grass. Second, we want to do a total grazing when we take all off, so everything can come new, and with greater vigor and we give or allow longer rest periods to avoid overgrazing. Third, we need special genetics to be able to do that total grazing without losing body condition. And fourth, we need to provide a minimum protein supplement to our ruminants when they are grazing stockpile or dormant forages. So I invite you to follow nature which is the surest way to achieve success.